Danny, not the ideal way to, to sign off a season uh, with a defeat after a, a great run, but uh, still a, a good performance, especially in the second half. Yeah, I think um, you know the first half had a little bit of the last game of the season, nothing to play for type uh, feeling to it. But I thought, yeah, in the second half, uh, I thought we was on top, uh, and we got we got in in their penalty area on numerous times, and I, you know, I think what let us down today is it was just that last pass or that or, the, or making the right decision, um, <clears throat> which is probably. Probably yeah, why, we, why we've not gone on and won the game quite comfortably because uh, I don't remember usually making a save. I think in the second half. Um, so yeah, obviously you're right. It's dis disappointing. Um, but today, uh, for me more than anything, he, he's just about he's about you know the, the seeing off of, of, of Sonko. Um, would have been nice to finish with win. What's ironic, and he said it to me as he came off. He's his very first game for us. Uh, he gave away a penalty when we lost one nil. Um, <laughs> And uh, obviously his last game is given away a pen when we've lost one nil. But no, nah, um, fantastic man. Um, been absolutely brilliant for this football club, um, and it will be a long time before this football club has someone of his of his uh, calibre and the level that he's played at and playing playing for it again. And yeah, just talking about uh, Sonko, you mentioned in your program notes not only the stuff that he does on the pitch, but he's uh, he's been very influential around our youth setup and and, and instrumental in and how that's grown recently. He has, yeah. Uh, I mean, we, you know, we work together with that every, you know, on a daily basis, um, and it's just these it's his mannerisms. You know, everyone just just sort of takes to him, and um, you know, with the first team as well. You know, I know that they you know look to him as. as uh, someone very experienced in all walks of life, and, and, and rightly so. Um, and he, he just, he just, uh, he's been fantastic for for me. He's been fantastic for this football club. Um, and and he, you know, when he, when you look back on the career that he's had, he's had a fantastic career. And the fact that it's it, it sort of finished here uh, under under me managing him, I'm very proud to have to to, to have had that happen. Yeah. And so when, when you look back on the season as a whole, um, how, how do you feel overall about it? Obviously the, the main thing was towards the end of the week staying up, uh, sorry, end of the season was staying up and, and we did that, but overall how do you feel? Um, yeah, look, I mean, the, the, you know, the, the last two months have been great, obviously, um, or I say great, you know, we've, we've been a hell of a lot better, which is why we've stayed out. I think if I look back through the season, you know, it's been one of them seasons this year when, when every team has one at some point. I mean, we've ended up having five goalkeepers this year through, through injuries. Um, not happen, um, and I think it's only been the last couple of months that we've been able to put out a regular, a regular side. Like right, little tweak here and there, but you know, before that we was having to change two, three, four every game, um, and that can't help. Don't get me wrong; that's not just that performances back, you know, in the early parts wasn't wasn't quite where they needed to be. Um, but it's been a tough old season for everyone. Um, it's been a tough season for the club and, and for, for, the, for the side, for the supporters. Um, but we, uh, we did an interview, um, I think it was two, three months back now, and I said to you, come the 28th of April, I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee you that we'll still be in this league. And we are, and that's testament to the players. There was one or two players here earlier on that, that from my own point of view, thinking back now, I should have, I should have released them a lot, a lot sooner than what I did. Um, but the biggest thing this year, you know, it's a, it's another learning curve. We're always used to being, you know, at the, at the top end, of, towards the top end of the table, and winning regular games. And uh, it's when you find out more about people than anything. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned about players, um, <clears throat> and a lot about certain, you know, certain situations. So that's the main thing is that that we learn from it. Um, but the positive side of it is that we're playing at step three. Uh, again for the third consecutive, third consecutive year, and I think it's only been done once. I think yeah, before, 79, yeah, I in think the club's so. history. So that's 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 a that's a that's a big thing. But you know, we can now uh, we can now all relax and, and enjoy the summer. Uh, all players can enjoy the summer. You know, for for me and Spencer and, and, and the owners, and that's you know we now got to start looking at looking at next season and what we can do. But um, been a tough old year, um, but the, the, we stuck together and we pulled through it. Yeah. And uh, that was going to be my next question. Yeah, how, mu how much of a break do you get? Um, you know, when when will you sit down with uh, with the owners and, and with certain players and start to talk about next yeah, year? Yeah, well, we, we you know we, we obviously we talk all, all, all through the year with the owners and that. But it was always going to be this year. Well, let, let's make sure that we that we stay at, stay at you know, this level uh, and get the season out of the way, and then we'll sit down and discuss what we can and what we can't, what we can and what we can't do next year. Um, you know, there's, this this is a tough old league. Um, but, the club can only do what it can do, um, and, and again, you know, this year, I, you know, that's a massive thank you to the owners because you know there has been times when when we've when we've been struggling, 
um, that never failed. That the owners have never failed to uh, to make sure that everything's in place that we needed to be in place, making sure that people were paid on time. Uh, and and it would have been the easiest thing in the world to 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 say months ago, look, I can't. You know, we've we've got to deduct the money. Our crowds have not been good this year. Um, and that's, a, that's the biggest disappointment for me, I think, more than anything. Um, because, you know, we have our loyal following week after week. You're one of them and, and everyone, most of the people here today as well. Um, but when, when, when you're struggling, because um, it's the easiest thing in the world when it's, going, when it's going well is to be part of something. But it's when things are not going so well is when you see what true people, supporters are really about. Um, and unfortunately, there's been, there's been too many this year um, that, in my opinion, um, have not supported the club and the team in, in the way that it should, um, and the town as well. You know, we go back two years ago when when we had the 1800 for the playoff final. Okay, we're not saying we're going to get 1800 every week, um, but we 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 are we're a community club. We've got over 250 kids playing football here, um, and I think the town um, need to appreciate that and, and show the club a little bit more support than what it does. Um, but all the supporters that have been there week in, week out, uh, through good and bad, um, and I know a lot of them have been frustrated at times, but I, I would like to say a while for myself, the club, the players, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate them being here.